you ever coach soccer? Young kids, like old kids, just tell them what the fuck to do and they do it. Young kids, you're playing kick the coach. What's kick the coach? A bunch of little motherfuckers running around, kicking balls, trying to hit you with them. And you're like, yeah, yeah, who matrix that bitch. And that's what happens. So the bottom line is, it's fucking car. Boom! Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click on the link in the description box below to sign up for the Tiger Fitness Newsletter. Within a week of publishing this video, we will give out a $50 gift card to TigerFitness.com to one lucky person who does all of these steps. Boom! What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, the comfort of my own. Home gym in my basement, how about that? Just got a power rack and stuff, mainly for training my kids. Weight's up to about 500 pounds, but I thought, change the scenery, I'd start doing my videos here. If you guys like it, comment down below. But speaking of comment down below, you know that for our rewards program on Tiger Fitness, you get a point for every comment you make on one of our articles. I'm gonna link an article on cardio down below. Comment on it, you win a reward point with that. Just look at the program, it's pretty epic. But let's get on, on to the lecture, guys. Now, Jerry Ward, who I am good friends with, I gotta admit, like Jerry in the industry is probably one of my best friends. I mean, viewpoints aside, you say, Jerry's an idiot, Jerry's a bro. Jerry looks like this, I don't care. He's a good dude, he's always been great to me. Another guy in the industry, Alan Roberts, who I, you know, I have great respect for. We had a little bit of friction in the beginning, but like any good relationship, thin line between love and hate, I really like the guy. So there's been a conflict between them, and I don't know if Jerry invited this, or if Alan just felt so compelled to get involved that he had to do it. And I, I can see where Alan would be like, all right, I gotta address this. And Alan went hard in the paint. I'm not gonna link any of the videos. I wanna keep this on topic, but I also wanna give you some insight into why I'm addressing this, because I feel that this is a pretty stupid topic. I feel that this topic should not be up for debate. And I feel that this is a topic that pretty much boils down to common sense. Now, Jerry did a video on basketball not being cardio. Anybody who's ever played a pickup cardio, uh, pickup basketball game knows that their heart and lungs are on the fucking floor after they play it. Now, I'm a guy who does hill sprints once to twice a week, does cardio for 30 to 55 minutes a day, if not more, weight trains with high intensity to the point where I train in Vegas with a group of people who are trained athletes and my cardiovascular, not necessarily muscularly, but cardiovascularly with the supersets, you know, I was burying some of these guys who were, you know, not as big as me either. Um, cardiovascularly, I'm good. People say I'm not functional. You know, can I do fucking, uh, can I do a muscle up over a fucking, you know, well, actually I did a lot of them on American Grid. But bottom line is, I'm not the most functional athlete I've never been. I went from playing fucking an unskilled position in football, to being a power lifter, to being a model, to being a fucking bodybuilder. There's nothing in my past that says, wow, function. No, it says I can either run into people really fucking hard, I can throw a block, I can make a tackle, I can fucking lift a weight, but I, or I can smile, but I can't fucking do anything fucking amazingly, you know, fucking performance-wise, functionally awesome. You know, I'm not that guy. I'm not not going to be doing the splits in my posing routine any fucking time soon. All right? But anytime you elevate your heart rate, or even if you don't elevate your heart rate, anytime you go above any kind of basal metabolic rate, if you walk from the fucking parking lot to the store, that's fucking cardio. I mean, the definition of cardio, they've actually shown in studies that three 10 session low intensity cardio sessions, three 10 minute low intensity cardio sessions are as effective as one 30 minute cardio session. Cardio is fucking cardio. Get up, fucking move, rate, raise your metabolic rate and fucking raise your heart rate and you're good to go. So anything constitutes cardio, and this is the point that Alan was trying to make. What Jerry said is that these mo fat motherfuckers, I believe he used those words, um, doing 40 minutes of basketball a week, not losing weight, uh, they're not really doing cardio because basketball is not cardio. Now, Jerry comes from the trainer school of thought where you basically, let's say you're doing 30 minutes of cardio. Once you adapt to that, your body has metabolic adaptation. Okay, and he is correct about that. He is absolutely fucking correct. Your body adapts. That's why the hardest people as a coach to train are fucking the people who are aerobics instructors. They'll teach four to five fucking hour long classes a day 
you have no variables to fuck with in their program. So when you're trying to get them to lose weight, their calories are already down to 1100 and they're at fucking four hours of fucking cardio a day. You have nowhere to fucking go. So for that, Jerry is absolutely fucking correct. However, for the average population, not the less than 0.0000000001% of people fucking teaching aerobics or who are elite basketball players who need to go above that baseline to lose some fat, basketball is absolutely fucking cardio. My daughter, every weekend, she plays center mid. She plays on an 05 elite team, an 06 elite team, because she's an 06, and an 05 regular team, right? She's in the same camp. She runs at center mid an average of 25 miles every weekend, playing four to six games on three different teams all season long. You're looking at fucking, you know, in the span of eight weeks, she's playing fucking like 32 games. You're telling me she's not doing cardio because she's playing a sport? That's bullshit. The bottom line is what trainers or coaches in the NPC, not calling Jerry this, but I usually refer to them as NPC tards, they're used to dealing with sedentary fucking adults who sit in a fucking office chair all day, answer emails, jerk off in the bathroom and take a shit before going back to answering all, mail, all emails, go to fucking El Torito at lunch, fucking eat a fucking tostada, and then come back to work and they're like, all right, I'm there. And then you get them on a program, you get them lifting, blah, 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 they want to get ready for a show, their El Torito days are over and they're like, well, fuck it. Now I'm gonna fucking get ready for a show. So you start them and they're sedentary. Keep in mind, these people aren't fucking elite athletes, right? Elite athletes are a different story. Like elite athletes, they're doing a lot of fucking cardio. Their baseline's through the fucking roof. Last time I checked, very few obese people in the NBA. They're fucking elite. So anyway, and this is not, I repeat, not a lock against, car, against Jerry. Stating my opinion on the matter because believe it or not, and, and Alan actually called Jerry out on this, for making shit up, like saying he's gotten tons of emails. I actually have gotten tons of emails on this. It's been all over my Instagram fucking live. You, those of you who watch that shit, I wouldn't watch it, but you guys do. So it's like, fuck, all right, let's do it. So anyway, bottom line is basketball is hit cardio. High intensity cardio is the most efficient part of training as far as cardio is concerned, because unlike low intensity, your EPOC, which is your post-exercise calorie burn, is elevated for about 39 hours post hit, Whereas post-low intensity, it's about two to four hours max. Basically, the calories you burn during low intensity cardio, they stay right there on the fucking treadmill. What you do on the treadmill or on the basketball court or soccer field or intensive masturbation in your mom's bathroom, that carries on for 39 fucking hours. That's, that's just how it goes. So... Bottom line is, basketball is cardio. Anytime you elicit a heart rate increase, it's cardio. Now, for fat loss, what you do is if you hit a stick point, it's simple. You adjust cardio up or you decrease calories or a little of each, okay? Pretty simple. Now, if your cardio is already at a certain high level, sure, you're not going to lose shit. However, if you know that you're going to play two basketball games a week, it's pretty fucking simple. Watch you add cardio in addition to those basketball games. You go on a jog. I fucking hate jogging, but you fucking jog. I don't, jogging's very fucked up for your joints. You use the step mill. Use the elliptical. Use the bike. Um, you fucking use the rowing machine. You go on a walk. Are you telling me that because it's not on a fucking treadmill that me walking through my fucking neighborhood through hills is not fucking cardio? That's fucking cardio. That's what I do for cardio. I got lean for shows doing outdoor cardio. Shit, I got lean for shows playing active sports. I got lean for shows shredded shredded for shows when I was a fucking lightweight, natural as fuck, you know, coaching soccer. Have you ever coached soccer? Young kids, like old kids, you just tell them what the fuck to do and they do it. Young kids, you're playing kick the coach. What's kick the coach? A bunch of little motherfuckers running around, kicking balls, trying to hit you with them. And you're like, yeah, yeah, ooh, matrix that bitch. And that's what happens. So the bottom line is it's fucking cardio. Cardio is cardio. Just fucking move. And here's the deal. If you play basketball, you can do it in lieu. If you have a 30, I've had play, I've had, I've had people I've prepped for shows who are also, um, let's say recreational hockey players. These motherfuckers will be like, I have practiced two days a week hockey, hockey season starting. Like, cool. Those two days, instead of walking on the treadmill like a fucker, because walking on the treadmill is stupid as fuck, yet all these fucking bro tards do it. And they're like, oh, I'm going to fucking walk on a treadmill. Okay. You're telling me that fucking, um, that running around a basketball court, like stopping, going, stopping, going, jumping, shooting, stopping, going, stopping, going, uh, 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 uh. You tell me that's not fucking cardio. Alan, I'm going to say this for you, okay? This is for Alan. 
I'm an Exos trainer. We don't fucking do low intensity cardio except for recovery on regen days. Regen days are recovery days. What we do is something called Tabata or HIT. We're focused on performance. We're focused on increasing the athleticism of the athlete. And basketball is closer to Tabata or HIT as it is to low intensity. Low intensity ain't improving anybody's fucking performance, okay? It'll help with body fat loss. Why? Because you're burning fucking calories. You know how else you decrease calories in your diet? You decrease calories in your diet. You fucking eat less. You control their nutrition. Pretty simple, okay? So it can become your baseline. However, then you have to either increase that. Now, elite athletes are playing basketball seven days a fucking week. The weekend warriors playing it fucking Saturday and maybe Tuesday. That's fucking cardio. It's gonna create a deficit. It's all about creating that fucking deficit, okay? Here's the deal. Cardio should be fun. By the way, guys, in case I get called for it, I do have fucking notes, okay? Got a lot of shit in my mind, man. You ever, you ever, you ever try fucking, like there's, I run how many businesses and I'm trying to do videos on shit like this to keep this shit fresh, to give you guys information, to answer questions. I got to keep notes. I keep notes on everything. Shake after you pee. Don't shake too much. Don't have too much fun or else it's masturbating. If white stuff comes out, it's no longer pee. Here's the bottom line. Health over shred. Playing basketball elicits cardiovascular activity within the body. Cardiovascular activity has been shown to increase HDL profiles, decrease lipid profile issues, and increase overall heart health and wellness, leading to a long, healthy life. Whether you're keto, whether you're vegan, whether you're this, that, and the other, all health experts will agree that the bottom line is exercise is fucking awesome. Nobody's, people are debating fucking low fat, high fat, vegan, fucking keto. No one's debating if exercise is healthy. Basketball is exercise. Health over shreds. Health over shreds. Yeah, you know when you're the most shredded and you're the most hard in your life? It's called fucking rigor mortis when you're dead. Don't fucking reach that. Do your fucking cardio. If it's basketball, if it's soccer, if it's fucking weekend softball, you still got to sprint your fucking drunk fat ass to first base. Fucking do it. Okay? Here's my cardio. Here's what I do. Now, I stay under 8% year round. I'm not on a ton of drugs. <laughs> I'm not a drug guy. I, I have no intention of ever competing. In fact, I'm downsizing. I'm trying to get down. I was 240. I'm down to 220 now. I wouldn't mind being 210. Why? Because that's a lot of fucking shit for my heart to pump to. And also the fact my joints are starting to hurt because I'm, I'm in the I'm in my mid 30s. I'm pushing 40. Shit's starting to get fucked up. Okay. My cardio. I coach soccer. I play with my kids. Do I know what the fuck I'm doing in soccer? No but I can damn sure stand out there and be a, be a guy to kick the ball and dish it to my kids when they're scoring a goal. I'm out there training my kids. When I train my kids, I do active training. You wanna know how to get your daughter to run fast? Beat her in a fucking race. If your kids are as competitive as mine, nothing infuriates them more than the fact that I can still beat them in a 40. Run with your fucking kids, that's my cardio. You know what else I do? When my kids are at practice and they're being coached by their club, I go to the gym in between that. Sometimes Katie and I will go on dog walks after training. Sometimes when we need to get down a little bit after getting our heart rate elevated from a high intensity training during a workout, we'll do cardio post-workout. I do a lot of active stretching, that's cardio. I do a lot of world's greatest stretch, moving. I do a lot of shit like that, a lot of Spider-Man crawls. I work on my flexibility, mobility. That is in turn cardio, that's what I do. So if you're replacing basketball, if you're doing 30 to 40, fuck, if you're playing a basketball game for 50 minutes, I'd replace an hour of fucking low intensity cardio. That's me. I'm a coach, you know, that's what I do, but I'm also an athletic trainer. Thing is, you hear a lot of shit online and this is not directed at anyone. These motherfuckers are all experienced or even no experience. Maybe they just have a cool fucking YouTube channel and a couple followers. You know, myself, Sean Torbody, and others have invested a lot of money, tens of thousands of dollars in expanding our education. Exos, I'll be completed with phase three. Um, I'm ready phase two. And here, I've been a certified personal trainer. I let that shit run up. I didn't do my CECs because honestly, it didn't do anything for me. I don't believe in correspondence courses. I believe in courses where they show you shit. I believe in experiential coach um, uh, mentorships. If you're not getting a mentorship and learning their style, you're not learning shit. You're just taking an online test. You're the, and NASM is taking your 800 bucks. NASM's bullshit. All those training certifications, unless you're there and you're learning their thing, Poliquin's workshop, kettlebell workshops, those are real training things, you know? As far as dieting and shit, I've been doing this shit since 2004. 
I've been working at Weeder since 1999, started Salvation and Team Salvation, the largest free online personal training program ever uh, before the advent of automation um, in 2004. Tens of thousands of people we trained. Okay, so I also know how people react to shit. I've written many diet books. Why? Because I always learn new things. I'm not closed-minded enough to think that I know everything right now. It's 2017 and 2020. Who the fuck knows what kind of research we're going to have? See, the thing is, you guys keep following motherfuckers who don't have any credibility or any credentials on the fact that they competed once or twice. And even then, I question the fact that most of them never really got into fucking super sick shape. Bottom line is, I don't want, look, don't hire me as a coach. I'm busy. If you really want to, I have a website, marklobliner.com, but I'm not going to fucking sell you on it and this and that. Bottom line is, I'm here to help you for fucking free on YouTube. You don't need to hire me. You don't need to hire me unless you're going for that next level or you want that tutelage. Everything you need is on this fucking YouTube channel. It's on the content site on tigerfitness.com. Go to tigerfitness.com. We have fucking 10,000 fucking articles. Something's going to help you there. Stop listening to people who don't have any fucking education, who don't invest in shit. You know what I'm doing next year? First off, I'm going to finish Exos. Secondly, I'm going to get my soccer coaching license. Why? Because I'm extending my education. I keep learning rather than just thinking I have the fucking answer. I don't have the answer. But I do know this. Basketball is fucking cardio. And that's not a game.